Uh, hey again, so now I will show you um, how to submit an album if it's not already in Music Brains. So it's again an um, album from Zeki Miran. It's uh, his album Sorma, which is surprisingly not in Music Brains. I thought it would be there, but anyways. So first we'll do the lookup thingy. And as you can see, it cannot really find any matches. I don't know if what happens if you do a lookup for songs, but it won't find it either. Anyways, then what you do is uh, you do the scan. So what it does in this case is it creates fingerprints um, from the audios of this and uh, it checks it from the Music Brains database which uh, uses some PUIDs and um, this is kind of like a closed source uh, fingerprinting service that you don't know how uh, they actually analyze it but they try to find the closest fingerprints and uh, sometimes even though um, the lookup the, is kind of messed up like think of it like you know if the names of the songs are a little bit weird which might be the case in and the Turkish music then lookup might fail and uh, but cluster might uh, after clustering when you do the scan it might uh, actually find the matches but as you can see it didn't find anything so then what you do is uh, I have kind of enabled a plugin which is at cluster as release um, this is not a topic of how to enable this plugin uh, this video is not a topic for it but you, we will actually have another one for this anyways um, what you do is you simply click to at cluster as release and then it takes us to the good old music brains okay so First, delete the disk one thingy. It is what um, Apple, like the iTunes, kind of rips the CDs. Like it puts disk one for some weird reason, which I don't know. So just delete it. And we know the artist is Ekimiran. It's there. It's an album. So its status is official. Its language is Turkish in our case. And it is Latin. So, I think there is also this Ottoman thing somewhere in here, yeah, you see, Turkish Ottoman. So, in some cases, you might actually want to use that, but in our case, Turkish is just fine. So, now, it's the release event. I actually don't know when this CD was released, so I will do a Google search. I know that uh, the wiki page of Sekimuren is pretty well designed, so I will just check it. So as you can see, the album Sorma is from 1992. And I will simply use this. If you know like the actual month or even the day, you are also encouraged to do that, but for the sake of the album, I'm not doing it right now. So the packaging is kind of weird. We don't really need it. I'm just leaving it. The label is Yavuz and Burj Pilakçılık, which is, uh, I think, all of Zekimran's albums are here. And if you have the barcode, it will be actually nice to put it because I'm putting this CD from a box uh, set. I actually have the barcode of the box set so I don't want to put it to the barcode of the album and you can put like some annotations in here for example uh, let's say like you have a, a traditional instrument that is played in this but uh, you might not be able to put it uh, like you cannot relate it to a recording because Music Brains database doesn't know of that album so you might actually put it in here uh, until uh, that instrument is approved 
which is a kind of a long process and in here I won't explain it but maybe in another video that might be uh, we, I might use it I might explain it anyway so the format I have is CD so that's how I'm putting that and let's take a look at the names of these uh, it, it, again in iTunes it, the uh, characters were kind of missing they were weird but I have checked them in advance and I have corrected them so as you can see I think every one of them is correct and oh by the way kind of, don't forget this because if you don't actually uh, it kind of looks weird in the collection I will I will show it to you so you see the format is uh, shown in the main one and if you don't write if uh, if you don't specify if it's a CD or a cassette or whatever then it says unknown in here which doesn't look neat so just uh, write it provided that you know it so guess case English whatever you can do it you don't have the others but it's not important like all the cases are there so next recordings we know the names of the recordings are right so I've just checked it in a second we don't have to do anything in here so now we relate it to album to the artist which is Zeki Miran. we have his name so if you don't find it you can actually write it in here uh, but in our case we know it's the Kimran so we don't have anything to do if it's not you know it's kind of like adding the artist here like where you write it in here and it creates the artist and it relates it so you don't have to do it twice anyway so now it is kind of like the confirmation page you can check it again name is this release group is uh, it's creates a new release group think of it like if you have like different versions of the same album like for example it doesn't apply to our case but let's say like one uh, pop band made like a release for Europe and then made another release for Japan which has like an extra song so they will be in the same release group but they will be mm, different releases uh, we might also have like some relevancy in Turkish music like some CDs got remastered again so they will be in the same release group but they will be different releases and these are all right we don't know the catalog number because it's the box set these are right Zeki Miran is the artist in all this is also right mm, again the edit notes if you have the discography or anything you can put a web link to here but I don't want to deal with it right now so you don't necessarily have to wait for it so anyways then as you can see the CD is created and from here uh, it will be the same uh, steps that I have done for the previous so for example you can um, relate it to an URL you have to do the relate the artist to the albums stuff and such so it's um, pretty much the same procedure it doesn't differ in any way and anyway so thank you for uh, again watching and if you have any questions again don't hesitate to ask Cheers.